Women emancipation, women liberation, protect rights of women, no woman, no nation. These have become slogans in recent times by women advocacy groups who believe women should take their rightful place in leadership. As the 2023 election draws close and preparations are being made by political parties in choosing the right candidates, women advocacy groups have taken it upon themselves to rally in quarters that matter concerning the 35% inclusion of women in elective and appointive positions as enshrined in the national gender policy. One of these groups is the Coalition for Concerned Women in Leadership under the auspices of Voice of Widows Foundation. The association, led by her president, Mrs. Udwak Oludemi, marched to the Lagos State House of Assembly, the APC State Headquarters and the residence of the APC National Leader, Asiwaju Senator Bola Ahmed Tinubu. Women are being trampled upon um, stifled, their yeah, actions are being stifled, they are not recognized. It was like I was saying that I went to Abuja to talk, to make noise at the National Assembly. They were there from morning to night to shout, you know, and they then said, okay, from 35% of women uh, in the house, they increased it, they said it should now be, I think, 50 or so. Where's the bill? They have trashed it. They have silenced it. It's no longer there. Even the few we have inside the house, they can have many. Show me one that has gotten up and passed the bill and they, it has moved. None. The house just next to us here. How many women? They're not oh, up to no. fight. Yeah. Uh, They're not up to fight. If we have more women that they feel, not necessarily you and I, from there you will know, oh, that's my friend's sister. That's my, uh, uh, my, my, my daughter's uh, a parent in our my child's school. We will know each other and we know that where women gather. If yes, they will say we quarrel, we fight, but we always do something. We make things happen. Give a woman 10 naira, she will multiply it for you. Yes, yes. Give a woman a child, a, give her sperm, she will bring out the game. Give her a house, she will turn it into a home. The man just comes in, he sleeps. Give her a seed of corn, she will carry it to the backyard, put it, and it will become what? What family can eat? And yeah. eat yes. Food. We want the government to remember the widows, and the orphans, orphans, and their kids. They must give them a, a place in government. Yes. Let the government of the nation, of the state, Federal, local level, state level, remember the women, the widows whose husbands have gone to the great beyond, who are left to cater for the children. And we have, we need a voice. Hear the voice of the widow. Hear the voice of the widow. And meet the widow's need. Both the widow and their children and their grandchildren. We have a lot of young widows who are suffering. We are, uh, we are speaking to the government today, at every sphere of government, to remember the widows and their children. Solidarity, solidarity, solidarity for widows. In Nigeria, solidarity for women, solidarity for women. Solidarity for women, for leadership is our right. Our right it must change. Yes, yes. We must support every woman, whatever the party is that is coming out to say we want a change. Whatever the party, we support our women because they are bold enough to say there must be a change. Their voices must be heard. They must allow them to sit at table and make decisions because we must support women in politics. It is very, very important. We cannot sit in our homes and say, oh, we need this to change. We must support women in politics. We must support women in politics. So the time for us is what? Now. The time for us to make a change is now. The time for us to make a change is now. The time for us to make a change is now. Do we deserve a seat at the table? Yes. Yeah. Do we deserve a seat at the table? Yes. Yeah. Do we deserve a seat where decisions are being made? Yes. Yeah. Do we deserve a seat where decisions are being taken? Yes. Yeah.
solidarity for we. Solidarity for we. For leadership is our in the presidency. Solidarity for we. In the house of us. Solidarity for we. In the senate Solidarity for we. For leadership is our right. Addressing the group, Honorable Ganiu Okolawon, representing Koshiofe Constituency 2, appreciated the group for what they are doing, stating that the Lagos State Government is gender sensitive, as women are being appointed in various leadership positions in the state. On behalf of the Right Honorable Speaker of Lagos State, Right Honorable Dr. Mudashiwa Yedemason, we welcome you to our house. Thank you. Parliament as above the common standard of excellence. Here in the Lagos State Government Assembly, I want to assure you that your issue will be given prompt attention. Thank you so much. Our speaker is a gender friendly speaker. And I want to continue to give that assurance that your issue will be looked at with a view to conceding to you what is your duty. Having said that, I want to say that in Labour State Government, we have well over out of 42 man committee, uh, ESCO, you know, handling the affairs of the executive of the Labour State Government. We have up to about 16, 17 women. Yes, that's commendable, that's praiseworthy. Even in the mainstream civil service, the PS is, is populated by about 70% of women. 70% of women. Of women. Of women. Of women. I can say that authoritatively. So that's presupposing that Lagos State is not anti women, we are pro women. So, on that note, I want to say that we shall continue you know, to look into your worries, your concern, such that women have proven in so many circles that they are worth, they are worth you know, listening to, and they are worth giving the chance even to, to, rule, to rule the nation. You have the capacity. You are the, you are the maker of the home. Oh. Yes, we we'll give that to you. For every successful woman, there must be a good woman. Take care of the husband, the children, the home, everything. An homemaker. We we'll give that to you. Thank you very much. We are very very happy, and we're most happy because you said that we'll be invited. Yes, so. That we'll be invited to the hollow house. He said so, right? He said so. Uh, so we believe you because you are an honourable man. And your words are honourable. So we're very, very happy. Our, our words are bold. Yeah. Yeah. Fantastic. 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 Thank you. Thank you very much.
So we pray for success upon the house and uh, we look forward to hearing favorable response from you all. Thank you so much. Thank you. Similarly, the Chief of Staff, Mr. Oyedele, representing the APC State Chairman, Mr. Cornelius Ojelabi, assured the group that the APC, right from inception, has a policy of inclusion for women in leadership positions. And the party is working tirelessly to ensure that the 35% inclusion of women is met. On behalf of the chairman of the party, I want to assure you that uh, their interest is being supported. Thank you. Uh, APC is a unique party. If you look at the structure of our party, you will notice that we respect women. Oh, thank you very much, sir. Thank you. There is no, there is no, there is no election that we want to do that we won't put the women factor into consideration. Then what we, we also have a ministry for women affairs in legal states. This is to show that uh, we respect the position of uh, women. Considering the fact that women are, have uh, the largest or the larger the larger population in Nigeria. Yes, and uh, one yeah. of the days when women uh, position are in the kitchen, yes, so now yeah, they are in the, in the air conditioned office. There is, nothing, there is nothing a man can do that a woman cannot do. Yes. Uh, in my house, in my own house, my wife is a leader. Yes. Because I found out that. Give it to him! Because I found out that. She's a uh, she has more stable mind. Yeah. 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 Stability. Yeah. 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 Woman. Woman. She's more spiritual. Woman. Yeah. 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 Uh, I want to show you of the ratio. But I know in Nigeria we have 35 65. Is it 35 65? Yeah. 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 Let me also Thank tell you, you yes, sir. that the uh, delegate congress that we are doing. The party made it um, compulsory. compulsory that at least there must be a woman yes. out of three, out of three national yes. delegates. delegates. A woman must be there. Then for the state and the local government delegates, at least two must be women. Mm. Out of five. Out of the five, five state delegates. delegates. Yeah. And out of the five Local government that it is too much women. So we are recognizing the rights of women in this the time uh, is now. Uh, in our party. And uh, I, 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 I support what you are doing. Thank, Thank you, sir. sir. Yes, it's good. Great Nigerian women. Yay! Articulate Nigerian women. Yay! Clever, resourceful Nigerian women. And the great type and the great type and the great type. Well, I we appreciate you. Thank like you. my Oga has said, this is APC, a party for the women. Yes. A, a party that is gender sensitive. A party that is concerned about the plight of women. Yes. And uh, we have a chairman here who is also concerned about the Lagos women. Not only the APC women, he is concerned about Lagos women. I am here as uh, one of his workers, and uh, I want to tell you that um, now that you are here, you are not the first to come here with uh, you know, accusations like this. But I want to let you know that uh, we have a listening chairman who will Look into your letters, and uh, I know that we we'll get back to you. Okay. Thank you. However, Thank you. I would like to note that uh, while we appreciate your presence here, and that we have attended to you, I would like to stretch it so that you don't lose the flavor. All right. We have an assignment here, and we have people from Abuja. All right. They may not understand our agitation. You understand. And I really want them to take our agitation for, you know, one of those corruption yes. yes. protests. Yes. Thank you. This is an advocacy. Yes. That is indirectly yes. sponsoring them to come at a time like this. No. I hope you understand what yes. I'm saying. 
our agitation is good, our concern is good. Great Nigerian women, I want to tell you that whatever you have asked, it's not, uh, you are not over asking, you are not over demanding. Yes. It is our right and we must be heard, yes. we must be seen. Yes. Am, I not, am I not right? Yes. We must be heard, but we must be seen. However, in asking, we must find a way to do it, you know. We are my husband, we know how to attend to them. So please, let's take it gently in our portions of our detention. However, I want to encourage us, God bless Nigerian women. God bless Nigerian women. God bless Nigerian women. God bless Lagos women. And God bless the association of concerned women in the leadership. Despite the fact that the APC national leader was unavoidably absent as a result of party screening exercise for candidates, the group did not hesitate to leave a message for him. Coalition of Concerned Women in Leadership, we are here this afternoon to express our concern, to express our wishes, to express our want and our as regards women in politics in Nigeria. At this point, this is one of the points we are seeing so. As rallying points, we are asking that the Nigerian people, the Nigerian leaders, and most especially leaders of political parties in Nigeria, start considering women, especially on sponsorship. We are asking that women are sponsored into the different vices, into the different locations and positions of political leadership, of managerial leadership, and social leadership. We have been here, we have been in other places. And we are asking that because we are a voice in unison, we should be listened to. The woman should be listened to. The woman should be encouraged. The woman should be supported. Yes. The woman should be sponsored. Yes. The woman should not be discouraged. Yes. The woman should not be frightened. Yes. The woman should not be relegated. Yes. Yes. We are asking that for every woman, come especially 2023, who's has interest in putting in a ticket, they should be sponsored. Yes. They should be encouraged. Yes. They should be facilitated. Yes. Yes. The ratio of the population of the woman to the man in Nigeria is more than 10 to 1. Yes, sir. We want to be on the table with our men yes. in leadership, in politics, in governance. Yes. Because we are trainers, because we are mothers of natures, because we are nurturers of the nation, yes. we are asking that we can do it. The woman has the capacity. The woman has the foresight. Yes. The woman is a deep thinker. Yes. The woman can come in coalition yes. with the men to lead this country arise. Yes. Nigeria should not be left behind in the, with the diaspora where we have women even as leaders of the nation. Yes. It is not small enough for the Nigerian woman to be the president of the nation. Oh, yes. It is not small for the woman to be the governor of a state. It is not small for the woman to continuously be in increasing number as leaders of local government. Yes. That is the reason why we are as one voice, even under different umbrellas, but has decided to come as one body, in one voice, at this place, at this moment, to seek renewal of resolution because the time is now. It is hoped and believed that the recent awakening by women groups will see a considerable number of women taking leadership positions come 2023, as seen in other countries of the world.